would you bow your heads and close your eyes as we go to the Lord in prayer? No place, Father, than where we'd rather be than here in your love, than here in your house, here in your dwelling place, O oh Lord. Father, it's where we desire to be. Lord, I thank you that where two or more gathered in your name, God, your presence is there. So, Father, I pray that today in your presence, in this place, God, that there would be life, that there would be life more abundantly. Father, would you pour yourself out in the spirit? God, pour yourself out in this place, Lord. We ask for you to come and to have your way. In Jesus' name, all God's people said, amen. Well, hey, today you can go ahead and take a seat. And uh, we got an awesome service planned for you guys. We got an awesome service planned for y'all. And uh, this is my good friend, Danny Martin. Everybody say hello, Danny Martin. This is Pastor Danny Martin. Buenos dias. <laughs> Pastor Danny Martin is uh, oversees our Spanish ministry called Iglesia dos Rios. And uh, we're going to be bringing the message today, uh, both of us together. In uh, Spanish. In Spanish. In Spanish. In Espanol, let me translate him, just in case you didn't know, in Espanol. Did I say that right? Yes. I did, yeah. good. Praise the Lord. <laughs> they are miracles. Yes, there are miracles. I'm one of the only uh, Hispanics that I know that actually doesn't uh, speak Spanish. I only speak a few words, like burrito, tacos. queso, tacos. tacos. So I know a few, just to get me by. Baño, you got to get by with that one. But, uh, you know, today before we, uh, before we get into the message, I do want to take a 15-second moment of silence, uh, you know, in honor of Memorial Day for those who have fallen and those that we've lost in battle. And so if you wouldn't mind just joining me in a moment of silence in this time, be great. So as we transition, if you have your Bibles, I'd love for you to open up your word today if you got it. Uh, if you don't have it, our ushers are uh, going to be on the sides, and they have Bibles as well. So if you'd like to follow along, or maybe you want to take a Bible home, uh, our ushers have a Bible today. And uh, so if you have, if you'd like a Bible, go ahead and raise your hand, and we're going to pass a Bible to you. Oh, there we go. We got a few. Ushers, just be looking around if anybody needs a Bible. So if you got your Bibles, you can open up to the book of Acts. Chapter 2, verse 1. Vamos a leer del libro de Hechos, capítulo 2, versículo 1. This is what it says. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. La palabra dice, cuando llegó el día de Pentecostés, estaban todos juntos en el mismo lugar. In Psalm 133. Salmo 133. How good and pleasant. How good and pleasant when God's people live together in harmony. Cuán bueno y cuán agradable es que los hermanos convivan en armonía. It's like a precious oil. Or for harmony, it is as precious as anointing oil that is poured over Aaron's head that ran down his beard and onto the border of his robe. Es como el buen aceite que desde la cabeza va descendiendo por la barba, por la barba de Aarón 
hasta el borde de sus vestiduras. Verse 3. Harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. Es como el rocío de Hernón que va descendiendo sobre los montes de Sion, donde se da esta armonía. El Señor concede bendición y vida eterna. Let's pray one more time. Lord, we love you and we thank you, God. Your word says that where two or more are gathered in your name, your presence is there. So we know that your presence is here today, Lord. And we ask for refreshing, for a newness, for a, for a revitalizing time, Lord, in your presence. We ask for you to come. In Jesus' name. Padre Santo, damos gracias en esta mañana por este tiempo donde estamos compartiendo como una iglesia unida. Damos gracias por tu misericordia, por tu amor. Pedimos el perdón de pecados en esta mañana, sabiendo que todos, Padre, todos somos pecadores. Y pedimos, Padre, que en tu misericordia tú nos limpies y nos purifiques de todo pecado. Bendice este tiempo, bendice tu palabra, bendice lo que se va a hacer en este momento. Y que sea todo para honra y gloria de tu santo nombre. Lo pedimos en ese santo y bendito nombre de tu Hijo Jesús, nuestro Señor y Salvador. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Well, like I said before, uh, this is Danny Martin. He oversees our Spanish ministry, Iglesia Dos Rios. Amen. Do you want to translate that? Buenos días. Yo soy el pastor Danny Martin, pastor de la Iglesia del Ministerio Español Dos Rios para Two Rivers Church. And my name is Taylor Boswell, and I oversee a few different areas of ministry. One of my main ministries being the student ministry called 2RC Students here at Two Rivers. Pastor Taylor es el pastor del Ministerio de Jóvenes y otros ministerios en la iglesia. Y entre los dos vamos a tratar en esta mañana de suplir el mensaje en inglés y español para el beneficio de iglesia. Brevemente quisiera dar un saludo a los miembros de Iglesia de los Ríos que están acompañándonos en esta mañana y quisiera... Say hello to Amen. two rivers, two de, dos ríos. So today my message is entitled, Better Together. El mensaje de esta mañana se titula, Mejor Juntos. So if you're taking notes today, I want you to just write that up at the top, Better Together. Si está tomando notas, ponga eso en el, la parte de arriba, Mejor Juntos. I always tell my students in youth ministry, Le estaba diciendo a mis estudiantes en el Ministerio de Jóvenes, sorry. When you take notes, cuando usted toma notas, you get a bigger mansion in heaven. Say again. You get a bigger mansion, house, no, una, una, una casa, mansión, in heaven, en el cielo. It's not true, but I just like to tell them that. No hemos ensayado, we haven't rehearsed, so. Yeah, we haven't at all. <laughs> Something I've realized in my life, is that things are better together. Algo que ha realizado en su vida es que hay ciertas cosas que son mejores juntas. I was talking to our staff this week. Estaba hablando con el, el grupo de empleados. And I asked them, what are some things that go better together? Y les preguntó, ¿cuáles son algunas cosas que van mejores juntas? Some of the responses that I got. La respuesta que recibió. If you know them, you can go ahead and say them out loud if you want to. Is cookies and milk. Sí. Absolutely. Cookies and milk. Galletas y leche. Do you want me to go through all of go mine? All okay, I'm going to go through all of mine. So He's going to do the American version. I'm going to do the Hispanic version. So, in English, I'm going to translate. In English and in Espanol. <laughs> Here we go. So, milk and cookies. Another one was uh, eggs and... There we go. A uh, few more are peanut butter and... These are all the gringo versions. Peanut butter and, oh, yes, hello Reese's, anybody? Uh, we also got mashed potatoes and a few other ones were uh, a parachute and a skydiver because you would not want to jump out of a perfectly good airplane without a parachute, that's for sure. You only jump um, once. Yeah, only jump once. And uh, so those were kind of some of the main ones that I got. Oh, I got another one that was uh, a bathroom and toilet paper. You always want to have toilet paper in a bathroom. Amen to that. La versión hispana es... 
café con leche. Sí. Tostada cubana con mantequilla. <risa> Huevos y tocino para. Arroz con frijoles. Lechón y yuca. Ooh, come y on. podemos seguir, pero. Okay. We're, we're trying to get you hungry right now. More flavor. Is that it? That's oh, it. that's all you got. Okay. I want to keep it there. <laughs> so something I realized in life is that things are just better together, right? Hay ciertas cosas que son mejores juntas. You know, in today for Memorial Day, we're all one church gathered together. Y en este día celebrando el fin de semana de Memorial Day, estamos todos juntos unidos como iglesia con ese propósito. The ministries of Two Rivers Church are gathered together today. Los ministerios de Two Rivers Church están unidos en este día. We have Dos Rios. Iglesia Dos Rios. We have Kids on the River, which is our kids ministry. Ministerio de Niños. There we go. Represent. We've got two RC students, our youth ministry. Ministerio de Jóvenes. We have our care team. Ministerio de Asistencia. We have our ushers. Los Ujieres. We have our greeters. Los Ministerios de Bienvenida. And the list goes on. We, I mean, we have a lot of different ministries here at 2RC. Y la lista pudiera continuar. Son muchos los ministerios. And in order for us to be the church, para nosotros poder hacer lo que hacemos como iglesia, to be united as one, para estar unidos en, como uno, to make a difference in the kingdom, para hacer una diferencia en el reino, we have to be united as one. Necesitamos estar unidos los unos a los otros. Amen. We have to be united as one. Tenemos que estar unidos como uno. There's something that happens when people are united as one. Hay algo que sucede cuando las personas están unidas. We have God as our main example of unity. Tenemos a Dios quien es nuestro mejor y máximo ejemplo en lo que es la unidad. We have the Godhead three in one. La Deidad tres en uno. And this is perfect unity. Es unidad perfecta. Unity in its definition, la definición de la unidad, is the state of being in full agreement. Es el estado de estar totalmente en acuerdo. There's no dysfunction. No hay, uh, perdón, no hay disfunción. There's no discord. No hay discordia. There's no faction. No hay facción. They are in full agreement. Están en total acuerdo. In Genesis 1:26 and in John chapter 1, in Genesis 1:26 y yo, Juan 1, capítulo 1, are examples of the Godhead. Son ejemplos de la deidad o la trinidad. In Genesis 1:26 it says, "Let us make man in our image." En Genesis 1:26 dice, "Y hagamos al ser humano a nuestra imagen y semejanza." Also in Genesis 1, you have the Spirit hovering over the waters that God created and that God formed. También en Génesis 1 tenemos el Espíritu que está rodeando sobre las aguas. This shows that God the Father Esto enseña que Dios el Padre God the Son Dios el Hijo and God the Holy Spirit Dios el Espíritu Santo are in perfect unity. Están en perfecta unidad. When Jesus was baptized Cuando Jesús fue bautizado we see unity when the Holy Spirit Vemos unidad cuando el Espíritu Santo fell upon Jesus bajó sobre Jesús in the form of a dove. en la forma de una paloma. This is unity. Esto es unidad. In John chapter five, en Juan capítulo 5, Jesus explained, Jesús explicó, I tell you the truth, te digo la verdad, the son can do nothing by himself. Ciertamente les aseguro que el hijo no puede hacer nada por su propia cuenta. He does only what the father does. Sino solamente lo que ve que su padre hace. Whatever the father does, lo que hace el padre, the son does also. También hace el hijo. This is unity. Eso es unidad. In John 14 and 15, en Juan 14, capítulo 14 y 15, Jesus is also promising the Holy Spirit. Jesús promete la venida del Espíritu Santo. This is unity. Eso es unidad. Are you picking up what I'm putting down today? Están recibiendo lo que se está presentando. Come on. Hay unidad en esta iglesia. Is there unity here? God desires 
for us as his people to live in unity. El Señor desea a su pueblo que viva en unidad. In John chapter 17, one of my favorite chapters of the Bible. En Juan capítulo 17, uno de sus capítulos favoritos. Jesus prays that his followers would be characterized by three things. Jesús oró que sus uh, seguidores fueran caracterizados por tres condiciones. By love. Amor. By holiness. Santidad. And by unity. Y unidad. Unity is very important. La unidad es bien importante. To the Father. Al Padre. In Psalm 133, just as we read before. En Salmo 133 que leímos hace poco. It shows what perfect unity looks like. Nos muestra lo que la perfecta unidad es en realidad. Bible talks about how when there is unity, it is good and pleasant. La Biblia dice que cuando hay unidad, es precioso y agradable. Bible says that when there is unity, it is good and pleasant. Es bueno y agradable cuando hay unidad. Now in some versions, the Bible actually says, behold. En algunas versiones dice, behold. <laughs> behold. Behold. Atención. Atención, that sounds That's good. Great. Now, when the Bible says this. Unity. <laughs> when the Bible says this. Cuando la Biblia dice esto. The Bible isn't talking about looking. La Biblia no está hablando acerca de mirar. But it's demanding attention. Prestar atención. The Bible is asking for, is commanding attention to this thing. La Biblia nos está mandando a prestar atención a este punto. So behold, when in unity it is good and pleasant. Atención, cuando hay unidad es agradable y precioso. When we are together, what the Bible says. Cuando estamos juntos, la Biblia dice. It is good and it is pleasant. Es bueno y agradable. Being in church today. Estar en la iglesia hoy. It's good and pleasant. Es bueno y agradable. Being in a small group. Estar en una cédula. It is good and pleasant. Es bueno y agradable. When we gather throughout the week. Cuando nos reunimos a través de la semana. The Bible tells us. La Biblia nos dice. It is good. Es bueno. And it's pleasant. Y es agradable. This is why I love being in church. Por eso es que amamos estar en la iglesia. Because it's good. Porque es bueno. And it's pleasant. Y es agradable. It's why I love doing ministry. Por eso es que amo haciendo el ministerio. With our different teams. Con nuestros diferentes equipos. Because it's good. Porque es bueno. And it's pleasant. Y agradable. Bible talks about. La Biblia dice. That if one can put 1,000 to flight. Que si uno puede poner a mil a then yeah. two can put 10,000 to flight. Dos pueden poner a 10,000 a volar. This is a pretty incredible math. Es algo increíble. Because I never learned that one plus one is two. <laughs> Porque nunca había aprendido que uno más uno son dos. But the Bible talks about Pero la Biblia dice that if one can put 1,000 si uno puede poner a mil then two can put 10,000. Dos pueden poner 10,000. Look what happens when we come into unity together. Mira lo que sucede cuando venimos en unidad. Something happens in the spirit. Algo sucede en el espíritu. That man can't do. El hombre no puede hacerlo. But only God can do. Solamente Dios lo puede hacer. Can I get an amen? amen. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. That's good. Oh, good. They know what I'm saying? Yes. Perfect. Amen. Amen. Here we go. <laughs> unity. Unidad. It's like a precious oil, the Bible es como says. Un aceite precioso. The oil was used to anoint the high priest. El aceite se utilizaba en el Antiguo Testamento para ungir al sacerdote, al sumo sacerdote. And this oil had to be created. Y este aceite tenía que ser creado. With this oil came many different spices. Con este aceite venían muchas diferentes especies. In the way that I look at this version, y de la forma que mira esta versión, is that we are kind of like the spices within the oil. La iglesia, nosotros somos como las diferentes especias del aceite. Some people might be salt. Algunos son suaves, salt. Not salty. Sal. Some people might be pepper. Otros son como la pimienta. I like to think of myself as sriracha. You figure it out. Maybe not, I don't know. But there's all types of pero, different spices. Pero hay todo tipo de diferentes especias. To create the oil. Para crear el aceite. And when it was poured on the head of Aaron. Y cuando fue derramado sobre la cabeza de Aarón. 
It was a pleasing aroma unto the Lord. Era un aroma agradable. And we are like the spices in the oil. Y nosotros, su cuerpo, somos como las especies. That when we're aceite. in unity together, cuando estamos en unidad juntos, it's a pleasing aroma. Es un aroma agradable. To the Lord. Al Señor. When we do things in unity, cuando hacemos las cosas en unidad, it blesses the Lord. Y uh, alaba al Señor, bendice al Señor. Not too long ago, I was uh, baking a cake with my mom. Hace poco él estaba horneando un bizcocho con su madre, una torta. And my mom loves to make carrot cakes. Y su madre le encanta, adora hacer uh, bizcocho de zanahoria. I'm trying to get you hungry again. But this, uh, this carrot cake, what we did was we gathered all the ingredients. Ellos recogieron todos los ingredientes. We grabbed the sugar. El azúcar. The baking powder. El Baking soda? The, or yeah, baking soda. Same thing. Okay. Not, not really, but yeah. We, we, gathered, we got vanilla extract. Vainilla. And all the other ingredients. Flour. Harina. And so when we, we gathered everything. Cuando reunieron todo. We measured it all out. Lo midieron. We put it together. Lo mezclaron. And we started mixing. Y lo juntaron. And every time we would mix it up. Y cada vez que lo seguían mezclando. We would take a taste and see how it tasted. Y lo probaban. And every time, y cada vez, something was missing. Algo faltaba. So we would add a little bit more sugar. So un poco más de azúcar. Stirred up more. Mezclaban más. Still tasted bad. Todavía sabía malo. Put in vanilla extract. Ponía más vainilla. Stirred up some more. También lo mezclaban. Tasted it. Lo probaron. It was terrible. Y no servía para nada. We tried this many different times. Y muchas veces. <laughs> so after a while, de un rato, we decided to go through every ingredient. Trataron, a de todos los ingredientes que habían usado. We wanted to taste it just in case something was bad. Y lo probaron para asegurarse que no estaba ninguno malo. So as we're going through every individual ingredient, y mientras iban a, cada, a través de cada uno de los ingredientes, I grabbed the sugar, tomo el azúcar, and I get a spoon. Una cuchara, and I tasted it. Y la probó. It wasn't sugar. No era azúcar. It was Splenda. <laughs> it, was... <laughs> it, it was terrible. Era, no servía. But in that moment, I realized something. En es, en ese momento se dio cuenta de algo. You can try to have all the ingredients that you think you need. Puedes tener todos los ingredientes que usted piensa que necesita. And if something is wrong, y si hay algo que está malo, it's not in unity with the other ingredients. No hay unidad con los demás ingredientes. Something that I've realized as the church, algo que ha realizado como iglesia, is we might be the ingredients, que nosotros podemos ser los ingredientes, the spices, las especies, that are supposed to be an aroma, que seamos un aroma, unto the Lord, para el Señor. But if we're not pleasant unto the Lord, Pero si no somos agradables para el Señor, we're doing a dissatisfaction estamos haciendo una dissatisfaction to other people a otras personas, and also unto the Lord. Y al Señor. We have to always make sure Necesitamos asegurarnos that our heart is right, que nuestro corazón esté that bien, our spirit is right, que nuestro espíritu esté bien, and that we are in right standing with God. Y que estamos bien en nuestra relación con el Señor to always be in unity. para estar en unidad This is very important. es muy importante And see what happens when we're in unity, y lo que sucede es que cuando estamos en unidad it's a pleasant scent under the Lord. es un una aroma agradable I believe that this is the scent of heaven. este es el aroma del that cielo it, it matches what heaven is like. se supone que sea como lo que vamos a ver en el cielo una de las cosas que amo sobre nuestra iglesia lo que él ama de nuestra iglesia is the diversity within our church. La diversidad que hay en ella. And I believe that that is what heaven will be like one day. Y es de la forma que el cielo va a ser cuando todos estemos presentes. We'll be worshiping the Lord. Vamos a alabar al Señor. Next to other people. Junto a los demás. Who don't speak the same language as us. Que no hablan el mismo lenguaje que nosotros. Someone might eat cooks, cookies and milk. Alguien va a hacer las galletas y la leche. Other ones eat tostones and y lechón. Lechón. That one. Hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> so in this verse in Psalm 33, so en este versículo de Salmo 133, it shows that God pours his oil que el Señor derrama su aceite on Aaron 
en Abraón. And it runs down his beard. Y baja sobre on, su barba. Onto his collar. A su cuello. This is not just a little bit of oil. Esto no es una pequeña cantidad de aceite. This is an outpouring of oil. Es una gran cantidad que él derrama sobre Abraón. And I believe out of this scripture y pienso que de las escrituras that God just loves to pour out his spirit que el Señor adora derramar su espíritu sobre su iglesia and God does not hold back y él no retiene nada God wants to continue to pour his oil él desea continuar derramando su espíritu every time we're in unity cada vez que estamos en unidad God wants to pour out his oil él quiere derramar su espíritu without holding back sin aguantar and I pray that today y ahora que en este día, as a church como iglesia, the Lord would pour his oil out on us el Señor derrame su aceite sobre nosotros. in the book of Isaiah chapter 61, en el libro de Isaías, capítulo 61 this, is what, this is what Isaiah 61 says the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me For the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim the captives that will be released and prisoners will be free. Isaías 61, vamos a ver versículos del 1 al 3. El primer versículo dice, El Espíritu del Señor Omnipotente está sobre mí, por cuanto me ha ungido para anunciar buenas nuevas a los pobres. Me ha enviado a sanar los corazones heridos, a proclamar liberación a los cautivos y libertad a los prisioneros. In verse 2, He has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come and with it the day of God's anger against their enemies. Versículo 2, A pregonar el año del favor del día de él y del día de la venganza de nuestro Dios, a consolar a todos los que están de duelo. In verse 3, to all those who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. Versículo 3, y a confortar a los dolientes de Sion, me ha enviado a darles una corona en vez de cenizas, aceite de alegría en vez de luto. Traje de fiesta en vez de espíritu de desaliento. Serán llamados robles de justicia. Plantío del Señor para mostrar su gloria. Now in the NIV. En la nueva versión internacional. It says that he gives. A, sorry. In the NIV it says that he gives the oil of joy instead of mourning. Él dice en la nueva versión internacional dice que él da el aceite de gozo en tiempos de luto. This is not a matter of if we mourn. No es una cuestión de si vamos a lamentar o vamos a estar de luto. But it's a matter of when we mourn. Pero cuando vamos a lamentar o a estar de luto. There will always be times of hurt. Siempre va a haber tiempos de aflicción. Times of despair. De lucha. Times of struggle. De dolor. Times of pain. De pérdida. Times of loss. De angustia. Times of heartache. Y de quebrantamiento. And times of heartbreak. Y de quebrantamiento. And this is when it's good to be around people. Y en esos momentos es cuando es bueno estar rodeado de gente. Who are going to lift you up? Que nos van a levantar. We are better together. Somos mejor cuando estamos juntos. Than apart. Que estar separados. When we are around people who walk in this. Cuando estamos juntos personas que caminan. And carry this anointing. Y andan bajo el, la unción. The oil of joy is poured out. El aceite de gozo es derramado. When I'm struggling with something, cuando estoy teniendo dificultad con algo, I need to be around somebody who's going to lift me up. Necesito estar cerca de alguien que me pueda levantar. I need my brothers in the faith. Necesito mis hermanos en la fe. I need my wife. Necesito a mi esposa. We have to be around people that are going to lift us up. Necesitamos estar rodeados de personas que nos van a levantar. Because it's not if we mourn, but when we mourn. Porque no va a ser si vamos a lamentar, es cuando vamos a lamentar. The Bible says la Biblia dice that sorrows will last for a night. La Biblia nos dice que la tristeza puede durar la noche. But it's joy that comes in the morning. Pero el gozo viene en la mañana. See, joy is coming. Gozo viene. You got to be around people that are going to lift you up and bring you up. Tienes que estar cerca de o alrededor de personas que te van a levantar. Does this make sense today?
So going back, we know that unity is like three things. Viendo un poco hacia atrás, la unidad son tres puntos. Unity is good and pleasant. La unidad es buena y agradable. Unity is like a precious oil. Es como un aceite precioso. And unity is also like the dew. Y la unidad es como el el, uh, el rocío. Thank you. Not Mountain Dew. No más. No la bebida. <laughs> so recently, um, I've been working out. So recientemente ha estado haciendo ejercicio. I may not look like it. Uh, okay. Don't Aunque you weren't no supposed parezca. to laugh. <laughs> But I've been I've been working out a lot more recently. So está haciendo más ejercicio. And uh, the other day I was working out with my partner. Y estaba haciendo ejercicio con su compañero. And uh, we were doing these things called planks. You know what planks are? No? Okay, we're going to demonstrate it. No, you are going to demonstrate okay, it. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate it. <laughs> I'm only preaching. You're going to no, no, come no, on. No, 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 I'm only translating. You do a show. All right, fine. <laughs> well, now I was, I was hoping I was going to have somebody else do it with me. <laughs> All right, so we were doing these things. Oh, you're going to hold my mic? I probably hold means. Show you. Show the youth. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Elvin. So I would go longer, but I think I would probably die if I went any longer than five seconds. Si él dice que podría ir más tiempo, pero a lo mejor tengo que terminar el servicio yo solo. My abs are still hurting. But see, what when I work out typically, cuando él hace ejercicio, I always keep a nice cold bottle of water. Mantiene una botella de agua fría. Because as I'm as I'm working out, Porque, and I'm, I'm sorry. No, Porque mientras está haciendo ejercicio, you know, and as I'm continuing the repetitions that I have to do for my workout, y mientras sigue haciendo las repeticiones del ejercicio, when I get to the end of my set, cuando llega el término a, al final de su, I gotta have something to drink. Tiene que tener algo a tomar. And as soon as I get over to my bottle of water, y en cuanto llega a su botella de agua, and I take a sip, y toma agua, it's refreshing. Es refrescante. You know what I'm talking about, right? ¿Sabe lo que entiende lo que está diciendo? There's something that happens when you take a sip of something that's good and it's refreshing to your body. Es algo bueno cuando tomamos algo refrescante para el cuerpo. Because at the end of the set, I just want to give up. Porque al final del ejercicio lo que quiero es eh, renunciar. But, but once I get a sip of my water, pero cuando tomo el agua, I want to continue going. Quiero seguir haciendo ejercicio. I want to continue moving. Quiero continuar moviendo. I got a little bit more in me. Tengo todavía un poco más. Than I did before. De lo que tenía antes. And now you might be asking yourself. Y a lo mejor se está preguntando. What does this have to do with unity? ¿Qué tiene que ver esto con unidad? The Bible says that la unity. La Biblia dice que unidad. Is like the dew from Mount Hermon. Es como el rocío de, Mount, de la montaña Hermón. That is poured out. Que está derramado on Zion. Está derramado sobre Sion. Now, in how the distance between Mount Hermon and Mount Zion, la distancia entre el Monte Hermón y el Monte Sion is about a, over a hundred miles. Es sobre cien millas de distancia. So it's not a literal pouring out. So no es literalmente el derramamiento del rocío. The height of Mount Hermon la, is, eh, la altura del Monte Hermón is nine thousand feet. Nueve mil pies. It's one of the highest mountains in the area. Es una de las montañas más altas del área. And it's often snow-capped. Y está cubierta por nieve la mayor parte del tiempo. <laughs> so throughout the year, Mount Hermon was very lush. A través del año, el monte está bien cubierto. And during the summer months, while there was no rain, y durante los meses del verano, que no hay lluvia, that fell on Mount Zion, que no cae sobre el monte Sion. It was desperately dry. Era muy seco el área. Throughout the summer months. Durante los meses del verano. But there were two annual religious festivities. Pero hay dos celebraciones religiosas que se llevan a cabo. That happened during this time. En este tiempo. Of the summer months. En el verano. It was typically very dry. Típicamente muy seco. And very dusty. Y muy, uh, mucho polvo. But the dew from Mount Hermon. Pero el rocío del Monte Hermón 
wasn't necessarily transported physically. No era que necesariamente era transportado físicamente al monte Sion. But when the people would gather for these festivities, pero cuando la gente se reunía para estas celebraciones, it wasn't dry anymore. No era seco ya. There was a supernatural había algo sobrenatural pouring of the dew on God's people derramamiento de rocío as they gathered el, together cuando ellos se juntaban on Mount Zion en el monte Sion. See, the dew represents a refreshment el rocío representa refresco, un refrescante that when we feel dry que cuando nos sentimos secos I can get around other people me junto con otra gente and I can feel refreshed and revitalized y puedo ser refrescado espiritualmente con there's, mi gente there's something that happens in unity hay algo que sucede en la unidad when we gather together cuando nos juntamos in one place en un lugar and in one spirit en un espíritu and God pours out a refreshment y el Señor derrama su on his people en su gente when we were once dry and empty cuando estábamos una, en un tiempo secos when we were vacíos, once dry and dirty cuando estábamos secos y sucios something happens in the spirit when you get around others algo sucede en el espíritu cuando estamos juntos a otros Let me ask you a question. Déjeme preguntarle algo. Do you feel dry and empty today? Se siente seco y vacío it, hoy. It might be because you're not doing life with anybody else. Es posible que es debido a que no está viviendo en unidad con you, otros hermanos. You might be closing yourself off to people. Se está aislando de otros hermanos. You might be withholding information. Se está aguantando de hablar con otros. To where you can't feel refreshed. Que no puedes sentir la, el refresco. If you're not transparent si no es transparente, with your brothers and your sisters con, in the faith. Con sus hermanos en la fe. We're called to do life together. Somos llamados a tener vida en unidad. We're called to reach people together. Somos llamados a buscar a otros en unidad. We're called to be the hands and feet of Jesus together. Somos llamados a ser las manos y los pies de Jesús en unidad. And we're called to be the church together. Y somos llamados a ser la iglesia unidos. The church is not these four walls. La iglesia no es estos cuatro, estas cuatro paredes. We are the church. Nosotros somos la iglesia. And in order to reach people, y en, en orden de poder alcanzar a otros, we have to be unified. Tenemos que estar unidos. To see this church filled, para poder ver la iglesia llena, we have to be unified. Tenemos que estar unidos. To see this church filled with the presence of God. Para poder ver la iglesia llena con la presencia and, del Señor. And by His Spirit. Y con su Espíritu. We have to be unified. Tenemos que estar unidos. In every ministry that we serve in. En cada ministerio que servimos. We have to be unified together. Tenemos que estar unidos. Something takes place when God's people are unified. Algo sucede cuando la, el cuerpo de Dios está unido. I want to end with this one verse. Queremos terminar con este versículo, estos versículos. It's not going to come up on the screens, but I would definitely recommend that you open up your Bible to this verse or even highlight it, underline it. Los versículos no van a aparecer en los monitores, pero les exhortamos que tomen el tiempo de ir a ellos, buscarlos, marcarlos. Ephesians chapter 4. Efesios capítulo 4. Starting in verses 1 going through 4. Versículos del 1 al 4. This is Paul writing. It says, As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling that you have received. Por eso yo que estoy preso por la causa del Señor les ruego que vivan de una manera digna del llamamiento que han recibido. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient and bearing with one another in love siempre humildes y amables pacientes tolerantes uno con otros en amor make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace esfuércense por mantener la unidad del espíritu mediante el vínculo de la paz there is one body and one spirit just as you were called to one hope Hay when un... you were say, when you were called hay un solo cuerpo y un solo espíritu, así como también fueron llamados a una sola esperanza. The unity of the spirit cannot be made up by us just coming together. 
La unidad del espíritu no viene debido a que vengan los sugieres a unirse. It's not just a product that you can make. No es algo que se puede inventar. That you buy in a store. O algo que pueda comprar. It's much deeper than that. Mucho más profundo que eso. We can all come together. Todos podemos unirnos. But we may not be unified. Pero a lo mejor no estamos unidos. But Paul is talking about lo que Pablo está hablando. Being unified together. Siendo unidos juntos. As one body. Como un cuerpo. In one spirit. Un espíritu. Something happens when God's people are unified. Algo sucede cuando la, el cuerpo de Dios está unido. If one can put 1,000 to flight, si alguien, si uno puede poner a 10,000 a volar, then two can put 10,000 to flight. Dos pueden poner a 10,000 a huir. When we are unified, cuando estamos unidos, it's good and it's pleasant. Es bueno y agradable. When we're unified, cuando estamos unidos, it's like a precious oil. Es como un aceite precioso. When we're unified, cuando estamos unidos, it's like a refreshing dew. Es un rocío refrescante. Something happens when we're unified together. Algo sucede cuando estamos juntos y unidos. And my question today to you la, here and you joining online. Y la pregunta que vamos a hacer en este día. Are you unified? Está usted unido with the people that you're around. Con la gente que está a su alrededor. Are you unified? Está unido. Or is there bitterness in your heart? O hay eh, desilusión en su corazón. Is there an area of unforgiveness? Hay falta de perdón. Because we can't be unified together. Porque no podemos estar juntos en unidad. If we're holding things back. Si estamos aguantando. In order to be the church. Para poder ser la iglesia. And to reach our community. Y poder alcanzar nuestra comunidad. For Christ. Para Cristo. We have to be unified. Tenemos que estar unidos. Our kids ministry. Nuestra, el ministerio de niños. To every leader. <coughs> I'm sorry. To every leader. A cada líder. You have to be unified together. Tenemos que estar unidos. You have to uplift each other. Levantarse los unos a los otros. You have to support one another. Apoyarse los unos a los otros. To our student ministry. El, el ministerio de estudiantes. To all my leaders. Los directores. And my students. Y los estudiantes. We have to be unified together. Tenemos que estar unidos juntos. To reach our friends. Para alcanzar nuestras amistades. To reach our campus. Para alcanzar nuestras escuelas. To reach our community. Para alcanzar nuestra comunidad. We have to be unified. Tenemos que estar unidos. Whatever ministry you serve in, cualquiera el ministerio que usted sirva, we have to be we have to be unified together. Tenemos que estar unidos juntos. What I've realized when it comes to unity, lo que he realizado en cuando viene hablamos acerca de unidad, it's kind of like a marriage. Es como un matrimonio. See, being married to my wife, estar casado con mi esposa, I need my wife. Yo necesito a mi esposa. And my wife needs me. Y mi esposa me necesita a mí. I need my wife. Yo necesito a mi esposa. And my wife needs me. Y ella me necesita. There's me. things that God has put in my wife. Hay cosas que el Señor ha puesto en mi esposa. That I don't have. Que yo no tengo. And there's things that God has put in me. Y hay cosas que el Señor ha puesto en mí. That she doesn't have. Que ella no tiene. And that list is very small. Y esta y esa lista es muy pequeña. But as the church together, pero como iglesia unida, there's gifts that you have. Hay dones que usted tiene. There's abilities that you have. Hay habilidades que usted tiene. There are talents that you have. Hay talentos que usted tiene. There are things that God has given you. Hay cosas que el Señor le ha dado. That are a blessing to others in the church. Que son bendiciones para otros dentro de la iglesia. We have to be together. Tenemos que estar unidos. Because what God has put in you. Porque lo que el Señor ha puesto en usted. Is for somebody else near you. Es para el beneficio de alguien alrededor. We suyo. have to be unified. Tenemos que estar unidos. If not, y si no, we're working against each other. Estamos trabajando en contra de uno y el otro. There's friction. Hay fricción. And when things get hot, y cuando las cosas se calientan, they don't feel good anymore. No se sienten bien. And that's when we begin to burn out. Y ahí es que empezamos a decaer. But how good would it? How could it be? How good would it to be a blessing? 
qué bien, qué bueno sería una bendición. To those around us. A, a aquellos a nuestro alrededor. To those sitting next to you. A aquellos sentados a su alrededor. To those who work with you. A aquellos que trabajan con usted. To your community. A su comunidad. In your schools. En las escuelas. To your teachers. A sus maestros. To your bus driver. A su, the people that you meet every day when you go to Publix when you go to Walmart when you're at the gym wherever you go when you're stopped at a red light how good would it be to be unified together in one body and in one spirit that we're a blessing to those around us that we're not looking for anything in return but I'm laying my life down for you because what God's put in me you need it and what God's put in you I need it I can't do church by myself I need you I need you we need each other we need each other to be the church Necesitamos los unos a los otros para hacer la iglesia. the church is not just made up of me la iglesia no está hecha solo por nosotros. but how good is it when God's people come together Pero qué bueno es cuando el cuerpo de Cristo viene y se une. and God pours himself out y el Señor derrama. and we're refreshed y somos refrescados. and we're made new y somos hechos nuevos. this is my heart for este, the church este mi corazón para la iglesia. I've been in churches that have been divided. I've been in churches where there's been cliques. And it's not fun doing church that way. We all know what it's like. But how good is it when God's people are unified? The last thing I want to challenge you with today. Lo último con lo que los quiero retar es. And I want you to look at your heart. Y quiero que miren su corazón. Do a heart check. Cheque en su corazón. I think those were the same words. Got you back. To look at your heart today and see if there's anybody that you're not unified with. Mire su corazón y mire si hay alguien con quien usted tiene separación, con quien usted no está unido. It could be here in this church. Puede ser aquí en la iglesia. It could be somebody that you know. Puede ser alguien que usted conoce. That you need to call. Que necesita llamar. Or you need to connect with. O necesita conectar. But it's better. Pero es mejor. When we're in unity together. Cuando estamos juntos en unidad. God wants to pour himself out on us El Señor quiere derramarse de sí en nosotros. when we're in unity Cuando estamos unidos. and I understand this listen to me Yo entiendo esto. there are some people that you will love from a distance Hay ciertas personas que amamos a, a distancia. but there still shouldn't be bitterness and unforgiveness in your heart Pero no debería haber falta de perdón en nuestro corazón. you can still say to somebody maybe who has wronged you usted puede decirle a alguien que le ha hecho mal Look, I love you Yo te amo, and I forgive you y te perdono. but sometimes there still needs to be distance in between you and that person. Pero a veces haber entre uno y el otro. But there's still, we have to be unified together especially as the church. Pero es necesario que haya unidad en la iglesia del Señor. Would you close your Bibles and bow your heads with me today? Por favor, cierre su Biblia y bajen las cabezas. Lord, we love you and we thank you so much for this time, God. And Father, I just pray right now over every single person in this room, God, that we would be a church that is unified in what we believe. God, that we would be a church that is unified on your word. We'd be unified in the spirit, that we would be unified as one body, 
God, that we are called to saturate South Florida and beyond with the hope of Jesus. And God, that we would be unified in that. God, that we would be unified in every ministry that we serve in. God, whether it's in our kids' ministry, in youth ministry, in care, in ushers and greeters, God, may we be unified together, God, for one cause. And that's the cause of the kingdom. And that's the cause of Jesus. That Jesus, we are nothing without you. Apart from you, we are nothing. So God, may we be unified together. Just like you said, Jesus, that the Father, just that I pray that they would be unified together just as you and I are one, God. I pray that that would be us, Lord, that as we see you, Jesus, continually always unified with the Lord, God, may we be unified together in the same way, supporting one another, laying down our lives for one another. God, going beyond our own selfish wants and desires, God, to be a blessing to those around us. And God, if there's an area or someone that we need to get right with, God, I pray that we would do it today, that we would not let the sun go down, God, without making it right. God, so we can be all that you have created us to be. Jesus name. Padre, damos gracias por este tiempo que nos has concedido. Y pedimos humildemente, Dios mío, que si hay división dentro de tu cuerpo, que podamos resolverla, que podamos traerla a ti, que podamos entregártela a ti y buscar la unidad que tú quieres que tengamos entre los unos y los otros. Padre, que haya unidad en este cuerpo, que haya unidad en nuestros hogares, que hagamos todo lo posible, Padre de servirte y hacer lo que tú nos has mandado hacer buscar unidad unidad de espíritu unidad de cuerpo somos una iglesia un espíritu un solo Dios y pedimos Padre que tu espíritu nos guíe que abra nuestro entendimiento que nos dé misericordia a igual forma que tú nos das misericordia que estemos dispuestos a perdonar y alcanzar una comunidad perdida no individualmente, pero en unidad, en un cuerpo, buscando honrarte y glorificarte en todo momento. Padre, tú eres nuestro Dios y no hay más. Y damos gracias por la oportunidad que nos concedes de venir aquí y demostrar que tú nos amas y que tú nos quieres, Padre. Alabado seas, en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. And before we uh, close service today, you know, being unified together, we're going to take communion together. And let me just say this, you know, if you, this, this, this communion is not just for this church. This is for the body of believers. You can, you can translate all this, right? You can translate this, right? Here, take that one. Can I get one? If you did not receive... Uh, communion cup this morning, our ushers are going to come by and they can bring one to you. If you just lift your hand up, maybe you didn't receive one, si just no lift has, your hand up and... Si no has recibido los artículos de la comunión de la cena del Señor, levante su mano y los sugieres van a repartir. So just make sure you raise your hand and they'll bring one to you. And today this is, if you're not a part of this church, this is still for you. This is not just for this church. Okay, aunque usted no sea parte de esta iglesia, puede participar de la cena. This is for the body of believers. Este es para el cuerpo de creyentes. If you believe in Jesus, si usted cree en Cristo, is the savior of your life, como el salvador de su vida, this is for you. Esto es para usted. So when Jesus was with his disciples in the upper room, cuando el Señor Jesús estaba con sus discípulos en el cuarto, This is called the Last Supper. Esto se conoce como la cena, la última cena del Señor. They were gathered together. Estaban juntos, unidos. They were unified. Estaban unidos. And Jesus, he took the bread. Y Jesús tomó el pan. He blessed it. Lo bendició. And lo bendijo. He, and he broke it. Y lo rompió. And he gave it to his disciples. Y se lo dio a sus discípulos. And he said, take, eat, all of you. Coman del pan. 
And as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Y cuando hagan esto, háganlo en memoria de mí. You can take the bread. En memoria de él, tomemos el pan. And after that, he took the wine. Después de eso, tomó el vino. He blessed it. Lo bendijo. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, take drink, all of you. Y se lo repartió a sus discípulos y le dijo, tomar y beber. This is poured out for the sins. Esto está derramado por la sangre, perdón, por, la, por los of, pecados. Of everyone. De todos. And as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Y cuando hagan esto, háganlo en memoria de mí. Esta es su sangre, representa la sangre derramada por los pecados del mundo. You can go ahead and take the juice. Pueden participar de la sangre. Amen. Amen. I love taking communion together. Amen. Él adora o le encanta que participemos de, participemos de la comunión en unidad. Now, lastly, I just have a, two quick announcements. Por último, dos pequeños anuncios. Actually, three. Tres. Don't hold it against me. When you came in today, there's a little box outside. Al entrar esta mañana hay una pequeña caja en la entrada. In that box there are these little army men. Y en, en la caja hay estos marines. <laughs> Hurrah. Hurrah. <laughs> Today when you leave, we would encourage you to take one of these. Al salir hoy les exhortamos que tomen una figurita cada uno de ustedes to pray for all of our armed forces para que oren por todos los soldados that are serving our country que están sirviendo a nuestro and país and are fighting for our freedom están peleando por nuestra libertad put it in a place where you remember to pray for them pongan un sitio donde se acuerde cada vez que lo vea ore por ellos so when you leave today you can grab one of those al salir hoy por favor tome uno also if it was your first time today en adición, si hoy fue su primera visita, please fill out our connection card por favor llene la tarjeta de conexión and you can turn it into uh, the foyer y la puede entregar aquí al frente al salir antes de la salida final my beautiful wife will be back there su preciosa esposa va a estar ahí you can give that to her se lo puede dar a ella and she's going to give you a gift from us today y ella le va a entregar un regalo de parte de la iglesia a usted lastly y último In the bulletin that you received today, en el boletín que recibió hoy, there are many different things going on within our church. Hay muchas diferentes actividades que están llevándose a cabo en la iglesia. Please take a look, por favor mire, at everything that's happening, todo lo que está sucediendo, and on the back, y en la parte de atrás, there's a calendar with everything happening within our church. Hay un calendario con todas las actividades de la iglesia. And next Sunday, y el próximo domingo, we have a graduation. Oh, go back to that one. You don't have to translate that. We have a graduation Sunday. Tenemos una graduación el próximo domingo. It's going to be on June 5th. El junio 5. Which is next Sunday, obviously. El próximo domingo. And uh, if you are a high school graduate or a college graduate, y si usted es un graduado de escuela superior o universidad, we want to honor you. Queremos honrarle en ese día. Or if you're a parent in here, o si es un padre de ellos, and you have a child, y tiene un hijo, or a nephew, o un or sobrino, niece, o un familiar somebody in your family there you uh, go uh, let us know and we would love to honor them next week during our graduation Sunday déjenos saber quisiéramos honrarle en ese día and that is all that we have today y eso es todo lo que tenemos en esta mañana we pray that the Lord blesses you as you leave esperamos que el Señor lo bendiga and you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend y que tenga un precioso bonito fin de semana Memorial Day God bless you guys have a wonderful day Dios los bendiga